Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel once again. I really appreciate you guys for coming along with me on this ride. I don't post a whole lot often, but I'll try to do my best to do this as much as I possibly can. So today we're going to talk about, as, as usual, some stories of some cops who decided that they were going to kill an eight-year-old girl by indiscriminately shooting into a crowd, and they struck other people, and they also killed an eight-year-old girl and this happened a while back but uh, the officers were just now they decided to press charges and indict them and and hopefully you know they will uh, get what they deserve when it comes to going to court but let's get you filled in first we'll put a picture up of these guys and we'll get you filled in on who they are so uh, in Philadelphia uh, three police officers have been charged with manslaughter and reckless endangerment after firing their weapons into the direction of a crowd of people exiting a high school football game outside of Philadelphia, killing an eight-year-old girl and injuring three other people. Now, a grand jury uh, is recommending charges uh, be brought against the uh, three Sharon Hill police officers, uh, Officer Devin Smith, Sean Dolan, and Brian Devaney. Uh, in August 27th of last year, uh, the shooting happened and it killed uh, Fanta Billity was the young girl's name. Uh, the murder charges were previously filed against the two black teenagers uh, for firing guns at each other. They were getting in some type of, who knows, scuffle. You know, people don't know how to fight anymore. Everybody has to have a gun, so that should explain a lot. But these two black teenage males were start firing shots at each other and the cops responded by just indiscriminately shooting into the crowd in the general direction I guess of where they thought the bullets or the gunfire was coming from and uh, they ended up killing this young lady however the charges were dropped against those two young men uh, for the murder of the young lady because the cops are the ones their bullets from their guns are what killed the young lady so they were charged, each officer was charged with 10 counts of reckless endangerment, and each of them also got one count of manslaughter and involuntary manslaughter. Uh, that's according to charging documents. So uh, it just, it just seems kind of sad that, uh, that the cops would try to pin this on the young men, even though, don't get me wrong, these young men deserve to go to prison for at least starting shooting at each other and firing the firearm so uh, I think uh, one of them may have gotten like uh, three to five years and the other one probably uh, got pretty much the same uh, which is good they they did some criminal acts and they should be punished for that but the cops who and this is just this is very telling of how cops are they don't really care uh, specifically and especially when it comes to people of color who they kill because just indiscriminately firing into a crowd and then striking an innocent bystander and they, they didn't even care the only goal that they had was to make sure that they all had the same story so that they could pin the murder on these two young men fortunately people were paying attention and the community said we don't think so you guys did this and you're going to pay so finally i know this is unusual for cops to pay the price for their crimes because they commit them a lot all the time. Uh, they violate our constitutional rights on a regular. And they do things like murder people, specifically people of color. And they get away with it and have been getting away with it for years. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon. But I'll have to say that this is a really good start. That we have to start punishing cops for the crimes they commit instead of just giving a smack on the wrist or no nothing at all and just letting them go but holding citizens who are supposedly not as trained as cops because cops have all this training uh, as far as de-escalation and weapons training that they're supposed to be the professionals and held to a higher standard than everyone else but it doesn't seem that way they always hold everyone that's not a cop to a higher standard as far as we have to know the law and the cops don't but literally Cops do not have to know the law. They just have to walk around with a badge and a gun and harass people. Cops don't have to know the law or anything about it, specifically your constitutional rights. But you, as an American citizen, a citizen, a regular, everyday, average Joe or Joan, 
has to be more well versed in the law than the cops who are violating the laws and your rights. So, bravo to the uh, uh, people who've decided that yes, we're going to charge these cops. Uh, bravo still is hopefully they get a lot of time for murdering an innocent eight year old child by just willy nilly just firing into a crowd. So, a cab. All cops are bastards. They are not your friend. Never trust them. They are not here to help you in any way, shape, or form. Cops are not your friend. They may do some nice things every once in a blue moon, but cops are not your friend. Their specific design and purpose is to incarcerate and create and generate revenue for the city, county, and or state or whoever they work for. Their job is not to protect you. They only protect the government in which they work, each other, and the rich elites and the wealthy. You are not protected by the police. They are not your friends. Even though they work for us, they don't give a shit about us and their job is not to help us in any way. So all cops are bastards and never trust them. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me this evening. I really appreciate you. Have a wonderful evening. Be safe out there and take care of yourselves. Believe me, COVID is a thing and it is killing people. The new variant is super bad. Once again, we're going to hospital. I can tell you it's not good. Please protect yourselves. Get vaccinated. Number one thing, get vaccinated because as long as people aren't vaccinated, variants will continue to rear their ugly heads and we'll keep getting sick and people will keep dying. I mean, almost a million people have died from this so far and it's only going to get worse with states that are opening up everything, that don't care, aren't pushing their mask mandates, aren't pushing vaccine mandates. Anyway, once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Be safe out there. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Love you guys all. Uh, and please, by all means, do not forget to be the best heathens that you can be. And have a great evening.